likes knots? No one does, except if they're in pretzels, I guess. Yeah, let's get rid of this knot. Hey you guys, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. Welcome to my channel. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to fix wood knots in your furniture. Now, I love wood knots in tables, and on wood pieces, I think it adds character, it adds depth to a piece, but sometimes they have deep crevices in them and they need to be repaired. Because if you leave them as is, say on this table that I'm working on, I have about five knots here, five larger ones. You can't see from this angle that you're, you're watching the video. I'll do a close up in a little bit. You're gonna see that there's some deep crevices near the knots that if I just finished this table, let's just say I sanded it, stained it, uh, put a nice um, top coat on it, there's, you would put your hands across the table and it would go down a little bit. And we don't want that. We want it to be a nice smooth finish on this antique table. So I kind of, I need to repair um, the damaged wood that's around those knots and fill it. So what do we fill it with? We fill it with epoxy. And you can get epoxy at any of your home improvement stores. It comes in this nice little, this is kind of like a syringe kit. You have your hardener and your epoxy in one. And what you do is you take the cap off and you push it down together into like a little mixing container and you stir it together till it's like a cloudy consistency. And then what I'm gonna do with this particular table, some people just put a clear epoxy on if they're just gonna go with the natural wood look. If you're going to stain a piece, you're gonna to wanna to try and match the epoxy color with whatever stain you're gonna be using. I'm gonna be staining this piece gray, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of gray stain to color my epoxy so it matches up with the rest of my table. And I'll show you that in a minute. We'll just do a close up of how I'm gonna be repairing this table and how you can fix wood knots with epoxy. It's very simple, so come along with me. Watch me how I do it. Hi guys, it's Bethany with Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. I'm here to finish up that video on how to apply epoxy to wood knots in an antique table. But first, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing totally different clothes than I was in the first part of this video. That's because I filmed that video five nights ago and I was planning on finishing this video then, but I had a nasty episode of vertigo. Ever heard of it? Anyways, it landed me in the ER and they ran a whole bunch of tests. I went to go see an ENT doctor. Everything's fine. It's just that I have these microscopic crystals. Everybody does. And mine got misplaced. They got lost in my noggin. Um, so I had to do some head ma manipulation exercises and I'm all good, but I've been told to just take it easy for a little while. But I am back here now to finish this great video on how to apply epoxy with coloring um, to an antique table. So I was telling you guys before, I am restoring an antique table and has some knots. There's like five or six of them on the top of this table. First of all, they're a little loose. Um, when I touch the knots, they kind of wiggle like a loose tooth. And also some of them have some like deep crevices in them. And I want to fill them with the epoxy, but I first need to color the epoxy because I am going to be staining this table. I'm going to be doing my signature driftwood look. So I want it all to match and not to be glaringly uh, these knots show up and go, oh look, they're glossy and just clear. So that's why I need to color this epoxy. So I'm gonna move the camera down. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next in this. All right, you guys, so here's a close up of what I'm doing. I'm gonna break off the top of that epoxy. And what's nice about these kits when you buy them together, the epoxy and the hardener are side by side, right there in that syringe. And I'm just gonna need a little bit, so I push a little bit out, and both of them come out there. You can see the epoxy and the hardener coming out. That's to ensure you're getting equal amounts of each. I'm not gonna need a ton of this, just because these knots are fairly small and what I wanna fill in. So I'm gonna quickly quit spilling that out. And then I'm gonna mix it with a spoon, the hardener and the epoxy. And you kind of have to work quickly with epoxy. It does start to lose its flexibility and you being able to manipulate it. 
Okay, now what I need to do is I need to add my coloring. Remember I told you I'm gonna add a little bit of coloring to my epoxy, right now it's clear. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of an old brush that I don't care if it gets ruined, and I'm going to get it into that gray coloring that I need. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to my epoxy. See how well that changes the color. See if I need more, see if I need less. All right, I'm gonna need a little bit more. That's not enough. That's a good color. That's a good shade of gray. See how I changed the coloring? Okay, so now I'm gonna work fast here. I'm gonna use that old paintbrush and I'm gonna start to apply it over those knots. I think you can see one right here. So basically it's just like I'm painting over it. Can't you hear all those beautiful motorcycles? I live beside a super, super busy road. And so when I open my windows, I get to hear all the lovely traffic. So it's a lot of motorcycles gunning their engines and people playing loud music. So you'll have to excuse it while I'm doing this video today. So I'm filling in those crevices. I can tell the epoxy's going down in it. And I will sand this afterwards after I let it sit for 24 hours. But I, I'm getting a nice gray coloring, not too dark, but at least it's not clear. And I think that knot is finished. So I'm gonna move on to the other knots. Continue to do those, but you can kind of get an idea of how I'm doing this. This is my largest knot here that I'm gonna to have to fill. And I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, everyone, here is the final look to that antique table that I've been doing a tutorial on fixing those knots with uh, colored epoxy. And I'm really happy with the results. I did my signature driftwood finish on this table and I just applied one coat of top coat so far and it's drying. And I'm gonna do a close up here of a couple of the areas that I fixed with that color epoxy. You can see right there, that was a gouge in the table. And there's a knot. And you can see the colors, they blend awesome. That was my concern if I just used a clear epoxy that they wouldn't um, appear cohesive with the table and that they would really stand out. And you can see here all the knots that I'm doing a close-up on. They blend beautifully with this signature driftwood look that I do on my restorations. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hear your comments or your questions or suggestions on how you fix knots on furniture pieces and I hope to see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching!